Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to go through the new update for Hades, which is the blood price update, as you can see over here on the left. Uh, I just wanted to go through a couple of the new things you'll see. Um, not everything, that's going to take a little too long and I think there's other videos that can do that. Uh, but I wanted to show, well, let's get, let's get into it first. That's right. So I actually started playing this a little bit already um, and was able to obtain the new infernal arms, the new weapons, uh, weapon aspects. Uh, so y we already had uh, this one was first, right? So the first one was the aspect of Guan Yu. Uh, and then this one, the aspect of Arthur. Um, which is, I think, currently my favorite. And then they introduced three more. So they got one for the shield, which is called the Aspect of Beowulf. Um, and we'll, I'll show you what it does. But basically, you have this new ability where you can um, call Dragon Rush. And you can empower your Dragon Rush or Bolt Rush or whatever uh, with your cast. So... Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So this is your normal bull rush. Nice one. But now you can add up to all three actually. And then it will actually increase the width of your bull rush as well as the power at the power spike at the end. So okay. if I add all three. Boom. And you can, you know, you can uh, adjust when you want that explosion to happen. If you want it to happen in a shorter range, you do a shorter bull rush. Um, there's the, also the heavy throw. You can actually hit it against the wall. It's actually pretty, pretty good. And then the other dash strike, which is what you are already familiar with. So that's that. Uh, and then. For the, what do you call this? The heart-seeking bow. Coronacht. There's a new aspect called the aspect of Rama, and the way this works is you mark your enemies um, with your special, and all marked enemies will share the damage that you uh, that your attack. Um, is it just attack? I think. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not just attack, but anyway. So when you uh, deal damage to an, an any enemy, all marked enemies will take a percentage uh, share of that damage as well. So it's really good for when you have a <coughs> a lot of enemies on the board. They'll all um, you know take uh, damage from just even a single attack. Uh, in a way, it's the opposite of the aspect of Chiron, or however you say that where it focuses everything on one enemy. So that's pretty cool. It's going to be hard to show on this uh, guy because he, he is just the single guy. But see that there's the mark. And if I mark a bunch of other people, they'll take that damage. So let's say without the mark, see it's 100 damage. But with the mark, let's try that again. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong. I thought it was going to be, uh, it will, you know, what does it say? It would be 30% this what you really minus mean? off of this the guy I attack and then sh that's shared. So, But actually, no, it's plus 30% damage. So he'll take the full 100 as well as 30% extra. Now, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's the... There's that, the dash strike, and then uh, the, the other thing, nice thing is that the special is ricocheting. And it's actually works, it's pretty fast, but uh, the damage, individual damage is pretty small, right? One special will, will be about 15 damage. So that's that. Uh, and finally, the last aspect that they added was for the railgun. And it's called the aspect of Lucifer. Um, and so this changes the set to um, to two things. So f 
first of all, your special, uh, so your regular attack is now a laser beam, which I'll show you. And then your special is uh, this Hellfire Blast, which you can increase the power of um, with this leveling. Uh, here's how it looks. So, so now, by the way, I'm using a controller and there's a little bit of an auto aim here. So it will focus this guy and it will actually increase the damage the longer you hold it onto him. It'll ramp up the, the damage. Um, and you still need to you still need to reload. But but yeah, you can see that. If you just hold it, you can go up to 375 damage right there at the base. The Hellfire, um, the special is now these bombs, uh, these orbs that you could place. I think the max you can have is three on the board. And they'll actually stay there indefinitely. And uh, I should have put one over here. Yeah, you can have three on the board and it'll just stay there indefinitely until it's detonated. And the way you can you detonate it is if you cause any sort of damage to it. I think the main way is to is to use your attack and it will detonate it. Uh, and then if you had multiple in the same location, it will detonate both. If I could just... Yeah, like that. Uh, maybe a little better example would be to put this. If I were to detonate this one, it will also detonate that one. So any any sort of basically any sort of uh, attack damage, it will ignite it. So like, yeah, see that? Um, you know, say you have some sort of damage causing uh, dash, uh, then your dash will will uh, ignite it as well. So. That's how that works. Um, let's play a game with one of these. I'll, I'll go with the. I pretend. I'll go with this one.